Aesop's fable about the boy who cried wolf. Once upon a time, there lived a young shepherd boy whose job it was early every morning to lead all of the sheep from his village into the nearby hills for feeding. He stayed with the sheep all day to keep them from straying and to guard them from thieves and wolves. But I'm afraid this little shepherd boy wasn't very happy about his job. <coughs> gotcha! Got away again. What a boring job. If only someone had come up here to keep me company. Because of you guys, and I can't play today. Uh, uh. Huh? It sounds like someone's coming. Why, it's the girl. Hey! The little shepherd boy was delighted to have someone to play with. It looks like you're going to pick some wild berries. That's right. Why don't I go along, too? I know where you can find lots of berries. That's all right. You can't go looking for wild berries. You're supposed to stay here and guard the sheep. They say there are wolves in these hills, you know. Shall we go? <laughs> Who's afraid of a wolf anyway? grew very scared and began to see wolves behind every tree and bush. Help! It's a wolf! A huge wolf! The shepherd boy blew the wolf horn as loud as he could to call to the village for help. The wolf horn! The wolf, the wolf is raiding our flock! The men of the village gathered up their rakes and hoes and anything else they could find to drive the wolf off before it killed all of their flock. Wow! Hold on! We're coming! Don't worry now! Wow! This is great! Everyone's coming to help! Yippee! Yahoo! Show us where you saw this wolf. Um, I think it was over there. Yes, I'm sure it was over there. Let's split up into two groups. You go that way and make a lot of noise to scare them into us. Okay. okay. The shepherd boy wasn't sure if he'd seen a wolf or not, but this sure was exciting. <laughs> ah, they started. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's only a rabbit. The villagers searched the entire forest, but could find no wolf. We should have been able to turn up some trace of him by now. Yeah, we haven't found so much as a paw print. Are you sure you really saw it? I saw it. I really did. The wolf was enormous. If you don't believe me, just look at the mud on this lamb's knee where it slipped while trying to get away from the wolf. After all the fuss he'd caused, the shepherd boy was afraid to tell them he might have been mistaken. He knew they'd give him a good scolding if he did. I wouldn't lie. I really saw one. There was a wolf. Well, if you say so, it must be true. Yeah, the boy wouldn't make up a story just to get us all up here now, would he? That wolf was as big as a horse. And that's not all. When he growled, it sounded just like thunder. Wow. And then, and then what happened? Well, I had to defend the sheep, didn't I? 
So I grabbed my stuff and yelled, okay, Wolf, and I went out to face him. But weren't you frightened? Who, me? I was only an old wolf. I would have been scared out of my shoes. Oh, I just love boys who are so brave. <laughs> oh, my, that tail is growing taller by the day, isn't it? That shepherd boy's really made himself the center of attention. It came at me from out of there. <laughs> you don't have to worry, girls. I'll protect you. Just stay by me, okay? Okay. All right. Fall in behind me and let's go. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two. Hi. Don't worry about a thing, lady. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two the shepherd boy was never happy. Not a day went by when someone didn't come to visit and talk about the wolf. One, two, one, two, one, two. But his good fortune was not to last forever. After a while, the village children grew tired of waiting for the wolf to reappear, and they stopped visiting him in the hills. Ah, sure is boring up here again. Huh? Someone's coming. Hi. Hello. Hey, wait for me. Hi, are you picking berries again? Uh-huh. I'd better go with you. I know where all the best berries are, and I'd be around to protect you in case the wolf's around. Do you really think there's a wolf around here? Sure there is. I saw him with my own eyes. But no one else has ever seen him. Well... Are you sure that was really a wolf you saw last time? Well... I thought so. He's just a big fibber. Shall we go? <laughs> Wait, I saw it. I really did. <laughs> the shepherd boy was very sad. Why, just yesterday he'd been a hero and a champion. One, two, one, two, one, two. That wolf will appear someday. I just know it. Wait a minute. I don't need a wolf. All I have to do is say I saw it. The wolf horn. The wolf's come back. It's after our sheep. Wolf! Wolf! It worked. Don't worry. We're coming. The shepherd boy had told a lie to make himself popular again. We can't find hide nor hair of him. Are you sure you saw it? I'm not lying. I saw it with my own eyes. If you'd have been faster in getting here, you'd have seen it too. From that day on, every time he got a little bored, the shepherd boy would blow his wolf horn and bring the villagers running. Oh, it's that kid again. Forget it. He's tricked me for the last time. Ah, they're coming. But there aren't as many as yesterday. Hey, what is it this time? Oh, well. Hurry, hurry. The wolf's getting away. This way. But, of course, there was no wolf again today either. The villagers had had enough. No one would ever believe that boy again, no matter how hard he might blow that horn and shout for help. But then one day... What's the matter with those crazy sheep? Can't they stand trying to take a nap? Doesn't he ever give up? 
He'll not trick me into those hills again. <laughs> <laughs> No matter how loud he blew, no one would believe him. Why don't they come to help? Who's going to save the sheep? Why don't they believe me? Help! Help! It really is a wolf! Help! It's a wolf! Help! Why don't they believe me? spring with flowers blooming and the meadow all aglow with new life. For all of the many insects, this was the best time of the year, especially for the fun-loving grasshopper. Nothing to do all day but play and eat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Club Springtime. And now for our first number, a one, two... that the grasshoppers spent day after day playing and singing. Then, one day... to their storehouses. How inconsiderate can you be? Hey, what's the matter with you, Ann? Don't you know we're having a party up here? Oh, we're terribly sorry. We didn't mean to disturb you, but we should be finished here soon. Well, soon's not enough. Save your breath. It won't do any good. All those ants think about is work. Ignore them. Let's get back to the party. That's a good idea. Okay, everyone, back to the party. A toast to the hard-working ant. Way to go, Eddie. Oh, those poor ants. Suddenly, a big gust of wind sent the insects scrambling for cover. But the little grasshopper maiden could not help but feel sorry for her friend, the hard-working ant. Oh, thank you. Will you join our party? But there's still so much work left for us to do. Oh, but surely you wouldn't be so impolite as to refuse my sister's invitation, would you? Just this one time couldn't hurt, could it? Let's dedicate this next tune to our friend, the ant. 
I'll make it a wall. May I have the honor of this dance? But I don't know how. Oh, it's easy. Come on, just try, please. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother, how could you? Are you okay? Oh, it's all right. We ants weren't cut out for dancing and parties anyway. I'd better get back to help with the work. See you. I'm sorry. Spring gave way to summer, but still the ants kept on working. Hey, ants, wouldn't you rather be fishing on a beautiful day like today? No, I've got too much left to do. Oh, is that right? Well, only a fool would be out working on a hot summer day like today. Oh, brother, please don't tease him anymore. He's just not like you. Huh, if I were like him, I'd be working all the year round. Where's the fun in that? Come on, let's go. In no time at all, summer turned to fall. <laughs> The ants were still hard at work, gathering their food. <laughs> and of course, the other insects were still dancing and singing as the grasshopper threw one party after another without giving a single thought to his chores. But one by one, the party-goers began to go home to prepare for winter. Leave me alone. When it's time to work, I'll work. But right now, I've got to get some rest. But of course, he never did do any chores. Before they knew it, winter's chill was upon them. Oh! Watch out! Oh! Help! They were so cold and hungry. But there was no place for them to go. They had not prepared any food or shelter for the long winter. Oh, oh, oh. I can't go any further. He, you've got to. Just a bit farther. Oh. 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 It's the end. What luck. We'll be able to spend the whole winter with him. Sure looks warm. But, brother, after the way you treated him. I know. But surely he'll take us in. But the ant worked so hard all year long. 
preparing for winter. It wouldn't be right for those of us who played all year and made fun of him to ask him for help now. Do you really think we have the right to ask him to be our friend now? I surely deserve to be left out in the cold, but... That's all right, brother. But you were his friend. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. Let's go. Please forgive me. And of course, the ant did not know the grasshoppers were outside. Who but a fool would be outside on a day like this? And so, the foolhardy grasshoppers had no choice but to spend the winter walking the snowy fields, cold and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> 